All right, you guys, today we check out how to make this a retro ditter text effect here in Photoshop. PS, I'm a little bit sick, so my voice is deep like that. Step one, let's select the type tool, type in whatever you want. And by the way, I went with the Archivo extra condensed font, black italic. And from here, double click on the text. Let's activate the stroke. Make sure that the position here is outside. You can increase the size a little bit more. I gotta go with 12 in my case. The color is going to be black. Click OK. I got to go with a gradient overlay where the gradient is just black and white. You can see the white is on the left, black is on the right, angle is 90. And not but least, we're going to need some shadow. So check the drop shadow. Let's select it. And I got to change the blend mode to normal, increase the opacity to 100. I got to change up the angle somewhere around 120. I got to increase the spread all the way to 100. And I got to adjust the size a little bit. And you also can customize the distance. How far do you want to make the shadow? I got to go with this. Click OK. I got to click on the background. Let's select the gradient tool and go here. I went with this basic black and white and I just drag it from up to down, something like that. And now we're going to need to merge all this and I got to go to the gradient here. Right click and let's go and select merge visible. Press Control Alt plus I. So it's going to highlight the size of the artboard. We're going to need to scale this down. I'm going to go with 700 on the width. Click OK. So now we have a small size, low resolution image. And from here, we're going to need to go to image mode. And let's go and select grayscale. Click on this card. And now we're going to go to image mode. And we're going to need to go to bitmap. But we don't have that. So we're going to need to switch it to 8 bits per channel. So I'm going to click it. But as you can see, it's want to apply the HDR toning, which is going to destroy the contrast eventually. So we're going to cancel it. All you need to do is create a new layer, an empty layer, doesn't matter. And we're going to go back to the image mode. And let's go back to 8-bit channel. So this window is going to pop up where it asks to merge. Then it's going to pop up the HDR settings again. So all you need to do is click on don't merge. Now you can delete this empty layer. And now let's go back to image mode and let's select the bitmap. Now this is really interesting. We got here the output. So right now it's on 30. The more you decrease it, the bigger the pixel is going to be. The more you increase the value, for example, on 100, the more smaller the pixel is going to be. So I'm going to go somewhere around 60. Let's change up the method to half tone screen. Click OK. The angle is on 45 and the frequency on 100. Click OK. Now it's scaled down on small proportions. Zoom up and we got some nice results. And this is how you make this bitmap text effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.